If there's one group of animals that I love almost as much as dolphins, it would be parrots. In fact, I've always wanted one as a teenager. Specifically, I wanted a green cheek conure. And not because JonTron had one, I didn't even know who JonTron was at that time. In fact, back then, I don't think JonTron was actually posting videos. Actually, the more I think about it, YouTube didn't even exist. I bought a couple of handbooks on conures as a teenager, but I never actually owned one. But I still love parrots, and I do love interacting with them whenever I get to see one. I tell you this because I may have some sort of bias towards this movie. Though that didn't keep me from not liking the Walking with Dinosaurs movie, even though I love dinosaurs, and I love Walking with Dinosaurs. That movie was bad. Anyway, I saw the first Rio, liked it. Saw Rio 2, liked it. But not more or less than the first one. The plot of this one focuses on Linda and Tulio who found a new colony of Blue Speaks Macaws that have been hiding from people. Blue and Jewel see this on TV, so they decide to go fly after them. Now, I did say I like this movie. That doesn't mean it doesn't have problems. But before I discuss that, let me tell you the things I like about it. First of all, it takes place in the Amazon, which has a lot more variety in terms of the animals. It's not just a variety of birds like in the first movie, it's more like every kind of animal that's in the Amazon. There are even Amazon river dolphins, which I appreciated. And it actually has some surprisingly accurate info about some of these animals. Another thing I really like about this movie is Gabby the Poison Dart Frog. She is really adorable, and I think she could go head-to-head -head with Unikitty as my favorite adorable character of this year. Cons of this movie? Will I Am is still in this. And even worse, Bruno Mars is in this. I really don't like Bruno Mars. His songs are terrible. The one thing that's a major fault for the movie is it has too many subplots going on. There's a whole thing with Jules' father not accepting Blue, and Blue competing with Roberto, the Bruno Mars Blue Macaw. There's the Will I Am and Jamie Foxx bird trying to hold this competition thing. Then there's this rivalry between the Blue Macaws and the Scarlet Macaws. And there's this logging operation that's going on in the Amazon. And underneath all that, there's Nigel the Cockatoo and Gabby the Poison Dart Frog who's trying to kill Blue throughout the whole movie. Really, it just feels like the movie doesn't have a lot of focus. I mean, it's pretty. And the songs are pretty good. For the most part. If I had to leave out my animal bias, I'd say this is probably worse than the first film. It's still pretty, though. So those are my thoughts on Rio 2. Tomorrow, I'll be doing a review of Littlest Pet Shop. See you then. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it. And subscribe for videos that I upload every week. Getting a bit used to winter, like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better able to take it.